Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Farrell SC, and welcome back to our Let's Play on Ark Survival Evolved. So, in the last episode, we got our Pteranodon, and I ended off the episode by saying I was going to go over to Ragnarok and get that 145 and that 150 that I mentioned earlier, which I did. Uh, they were both males. Um, I ended up getting the female 125 that we also found on the island. Um, bred him on up, and this is the final result, though. So, I have taken this guy through... Um, a decent amount of explorer note uh, things and everything like that and this guy's pretty good but here's the problem um yeah we're level 71 now um we have leveled up really quick honestly in this playthrough so far um so unfortunately the uh pteranodon for us is going to be a little short-lived because we're at rg levels now and that's what we're going to do today so i am up here at the mosh pit i made a few different little um traps and everything like that which this famously is the argent trap uh the gist with this is just to give you a rundown of how it used to be and how it's now going to be uh we would take the argent come on in here argent would get trapped we're okay we can get through because we're a little bit smaller i would then run around and do this get on out and then start firing away now it's a little bit different. Now, um, I actually went over to Genesis for like a minute because I actually wanted to get an, a specific engram, which is the pressure plate. I've never used the pressure plate. I wanted to see how it works, and it took a little bit of finagling, but I did actually get it to be put down. I would have preferred it back here. The problem is that the range of it, it's just too far. So it would have been better just to come here, put down the pressure point, call it a day. It may work a little bit better with like one of those um, kind of structures because it is a little bit smaller um, than this guy, but it is what it is. So here's the new plan. Same thing, come on through. Once I get off of the Pteranodon, instead of running there, um, I've activated it where I'll just step on this and the door closes and that's it. So it kind of saves us a step. Um, with this, I don't think it's really that necessary to do this. It takes a lot of materials, too, honestly. Um, but for some other traps, like if you're trapping Rexes, if you're going to do this for a Giga Trap, th that thing's a lifesaver. That thing could really help us out. So I'm going to be experimenting with that. Um, but like I said, today is uh, an Argent Taming, honestly. Um, I've been taking a look up here at the Mosh Pit. There's nothing here really yet. Uh, there is a Rex. There's a lot of Raptors. Um, there's a lot of, oh, no, no more Rex, because, uh, the Raptors took it out. Oh my god, the Raptors are going after everything. What level are you? 55, no. Okay, because we're going to be on the hunt for Dodicruses and the utility dinos and stuff like that, but 145 Anki, oh, you poor soul, you're going to die. Oh, and a 135 Saber. Oh, you poor soul. Who's going to, who's going to survive? Let's, let's, uh, let's watch this. This is actually kind of interesting. Oh, uh, no, the Yankee's bloody already. No, Anki, oh, you're going to die. I'm not going down there. No way, not with these raptors and stuff around. Like, we'll just, uh a 145 would have been great. And there's 135 Saber. That's kind of cool. Anyways, um, so yeah, no luck here, pretty much. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around the entire area, basically. And whenever I find a good Argent, we're going to slowly pull it back to uh, back to here, to the mosh pit, and then we'll start uh, taking it out. I have 206 total arrows, so hopefully that's going to be enough to get us a few uh, Argents today. So uh, let's get hunting. All right, guys, so I have been looking around for a while now. Um, I ended up finding this one. This is actually a 135 female, which is actually a decent start. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit higher, but uh, what are you, actually? Just in case. Nope, 45. Okay, nope, we're going to go with this one. Uh, real simple how to do this. It is going to take a while, though. Uh, get it to aggro you. And then slowly but surely, just have this thing follow you all the way back to base. Now... Just to give you guys an idea, we are, we're actually relatively close, okay, good. Um, yeah, um, sometimes I've had to make this trip from, like, Carno Island on one side of the map all the way to here. Yeah, not fun. So, what you're going to want to make sure is, every once in a while, let it hit you. Uh, so it doesn't lose aggro and everything like that. It just makes the trip a lot easier, basically. Uh, so, I'm going to take my time getting back here. It's going to be a little bit. Um, oh, also, as I was going around, there was a red uh, loot drop, basically. Um, nothing crazy from it, but I did get this guy here. Uh, blueprint uh, Flag Boots. So, we'll take a look at that in detail once we uh, knock this RG on out. 
But let me uh, get on back to base here and start scouting some other ones in the meantime, too. Uh, you are 125. Not bad, actually. Um, but we'll see. Uh, let's get this one back on to base and then uh, go from there. Interestingly enough, that's a male right there, 135. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Anyways, uh, let me get this one back to base, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, here we go, guys. So let's make the turn here and slowly just uh, descend onto our trap here. Um, so the gist is uh, this thing should follow me straight in. Uh, let me have it hit me. There we go. This thing should basically follow me straight in. No problem. No big deal. I go through. RG is trapped. And now let's press that pressure plate. And then... Yeah, so now I don't have to run around and basically uh, close the gate. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, not bad. So to knock this one out, um, I'm going to be shooting at a decent amount. Um, at the same time, once you start seeing it running, usually I'll do like a five second count in between shots. Um, just so I don't basically uh, take it out too quick. Alright, so looks like it's on the run. So let me take a shot. I'm not going to wait a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The trike out of the way. Shoot again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, Two, three, four, five. Basically, doing the five seconds allows the torpor to basically uh, build on up. Uh, let's see how. Yeah, no, definitely running. And not too damaged yet either. Usually, the easiest way to tell is by the wings. You'll see the wings start to really get beat up, but I think I think we're looking good so far. Shouldn't be too many more shots, honestly. Alright, it looks like it might be back to aggro. That's a little... Alright, that's okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, Torpor built up again, and now on the run. Now it shouldn't be too long. Maybe another 10 shots. One. And there we go. Wow, that was two shots. Okay, so what I'm hoping is the stats are insanely awesome on this, because... I would actually like to use this. Oh my god, 245 mail. That is potentially a lot of melee. The stamina is okay. The weight's low. The stamina is kind of low. That weight, though, 245 base. Oh my god. All right, we might be Argent breeding today then. Oh my gosh, I wasn't really expecting to do that, but. Okay, health is 2044, which is kind of low too, but... Oof. Okay, I gotta go get some prime meat, I think. Yeah, I don't have any on me. Okay, so we're gonna use prime meat for this one, because I am at uh, 10 times taming, which means that prime meat should give us a perfect score on this. Um, I'm also gonna give it a little bit of time to starve too, so uh, maybe what I should start doing actually is I'm gonna start luring the other one over this way, that 135 that we literally just saw. It is male. Um, I'm gonna get it kind of close to base, well, close to the trap, and then I'm gonna de aggro it. So it'll give it time, it'll give that Argent time to start. Um, dropping down food wise so when we feed it it's just going to tame up right away and what's nice about that is letting it starve you're not going to lose taming effectiveness or anything like that so let's find this guy this guy should have been like right oh maybe it's you i don't think it's you but i'm going to look anyways just and maybe come on I am not good with the spyglass. Oh my god. Okay, try that again. 
Where are you? Right there. 75. You're not even it. Okay. What about you? You're a pretty looking one. What, what level are you? 100. That's not bad. Okay. About to die, though, but... All right. What about you out here? You are level 10. Nope. You suck. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost positive the 135 was up this way anyways. Let me see. Eh, it's probably one of you. Gotta be one of you. 55. 15. Oh, okay. Oh, and then maybe one of you? 125. 125 and a 35. Ooh, did I mistake it for a one? Uh-oh. I might have mistaken it for a 125, not a 135. Unless it's one of these. 15? Oh, please be you. No. Oh, I like the colors on that one. No, there was definitely a 135. Unless it was you. 125. I mean, it seems right. It was right in this area where I saw it, so... It could be that one. There's another one, like, right... I just saw it. Where'd it go? Okay, there's, like, one over here. Uh, what's that black one? Come on. You should be... Come on. Ah, 35. Uh-oh. Well, we're on our way down. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Um... Okay. Okay. I think we're okay. You know what? As this thing rests, I'm going to take a second. I'm going to look back at that footage because I could have sworn it was 135. If it is, I'm going to look around. Um, if not, then it might be that 125 and we'll knock it on out. So uh, be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. So after looking at the footage, um, yeah, it was actually my 135 that was actually attacking me. It was just perfect timing that basically when I look through the uh, spyglass, um, yeah, that's right when the uh, 135 attacked me. So, yeah, we actually saw the 135 and I mistaken it for a male 135. And it was actually this one that we were looking at. That's why I saw the 35. So it is what it is. No big deal. Um... I'm going to be on the hunt for a little bit to see if there's possibly another one. Um, if there is, awesome. If there's not, it's no big deal. We have a good 135 for right now. And what we'll do is we're basically going to take over the mosh pit with this thing and hopefully um, start spawning in some higher levels. Basically, after I kill one, obviously one will spawn in and hopefully uh, we get some good levels out of this. So um, I'm going to take some time to look around here. It also gives it time to actually starve a little bit more um, and then we'll go from there. So uh, be back in a bit, guys. All right, so we're on our way back now. Um, I actually picked up a little bit of, what, level 20? Okay, nope, not good. Uh, what about you guys before we go through? 40 and 65, not good. Okay, anyways, so um, I've actually been uh, doing a little bit of hunting, got a uh, decent amount of prime meat. We should be good there. Um, I just realized too, I need a uh, keratin. Uh, chitin or keratin, so I actually have to look around the water here for some trilobites um, So we can make the saddle for this thing because I think it takes like hundred and twenty five And we got a jumping shark in the water uh, 125 I think it takes for uh, Chitin, but let's see we're coming on back now. Let's see how much it's starved out Watch we get back and it's killed or something like that from something. Oh my gosh um, I should have some uh, chitin keratin already um, I don't know why I took that out. One, two. Eh, let me just take everything. Make it clear. I don't know how many it's going to take, but let's see how much it's starved right now. Not, well, 300. So it may actually... It may actually level right now. Like, it may actually be good right now, but let's see. Put that all on him. One, two, three, four, five... Really? <laughs> I missed by one? Alright, so it's got a little bit of time. Uh, it shouldn't take too, too long, honestly. Um, let me see if I can find some... Well, let me see how much keratin I actually have. Titan keratin, and let me see... Oh! Perfect, okay. 
All right, let's see how much we actually have and what we need. So I have 68 here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that yet because I just want to see 68, 38. So we actually don't have... We're not that far off, actually. You need 150, so I need about 40 more. Uh, what else do I need? Because I might as well just have it on me. Uh, fiber, 185. That's actually really easy to get. And then hide. We probably need, what, 260? 350, okay. Alright. Possibly we'll take out this trike. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's get a little bit of hide from here. Okay, we're good in that department. Uh, let's get some fiber. So, I'm not sure if I went over this. I actually got this uh, journeyman um, sickle um, over on Herbivore Island. It was actually when I was building. There was a purple drop. And, yeah. I'm not going to look at the stats yet. I want to get the uh, saddle for it first. So, let's see what... Um, yeah, screw it. Let's just go for the trike. The trike will give me a little bit. Oh my god. Oh, okay. He knocked out my, uh, campfire. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, 325 damage. What the hell? Okay, let's see how much keratin. Oh, thank god we did that. Three keratin. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can actually kill. Get something. Trial of to be the easiest. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't know if we're gonna find any. Uh-uh. Speaking of which, sometimes they're actually really easy to spot on here, so let me take a look. Not seeing any here. Okay, let me uh, go up and down the coast and figure it out. All right, guys. So we are just getting back to the uh, Argent here. Um, I ended up making the saddle. I did not have any, uh, couldn't find any trilobites. So I ended up killing a decent amount of carbos since you only get like 6 to 15 uh, keratin per one. And we need 150. So... Yeah, it took a while, but most importantly, let's see how this melee stat ended up being. Uh, hopefully, got a really good roll on this. 402. What? Wow. Okay. So, that's good news and bad news. Um, good news is... Um, good news is we have a breeder. Definitely. 402 starting melee is really, really good. Um, the downside to this is, um, I can't level this thing at all, because then I'm going to forget what level the, uh, melee is and stuff like that, and yeah. Um, the other downside is, we need to get ourselves another Argent. <laughs> um, so we're going to need to find probably, uh, preferably a high-level male, because possibly, if I can find it fairly quickly, um, yeah, we might try some mating today, maybe. Um, I don't know. So... Let's kind of take a look here and see. Uh, 55 5, not good. But what's good is we actually have a fighter now. We can actually take out these Argents and stuff relatively quickly. Let's see how hard. Oh my god, 100 right off the bat. Oh my god. That is awesome. No leveling, nothing. Getting 100 straight off. That is. Nope, you are not getting one thing of leveling. If you guys don't know, too, these guys... Oh, God. No, 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 no. There's raptors, raptors, raptors. Go, 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 go. Just get in the air. <laughs> nope. Um, they get a little bit of a regen buff anytime you kill something and actually harvest it, so that's actually going to help out a lot, too. This guy. Um, but basically, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go around and just waste everything here. Wait for some new spawns to come in, and hopefully we get something good. Basically looking for a uh, decently high-leveled um, merchant at this point. So, uh, be back in a bit, guys. Oh, God, Raptors. Just get in the air. Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. <laughs> All right, guys, so still searching the skies for our Argent. Uh, speaking of which, let's see. Nope, 
20, you suck. Uh, yeah, there's a red drop here, so let's see what we actually get. What's good about the Argent is now we can actually go loot crate hunting because, uh, yeah, with the weight on this guy, it's a lot better. Oh, a journeyman Titan hat. Okay. Not, not bad. Um, to be honest, I'm not a fan of Chitin, but eh, it's better than what we got, so it's fine for now. Uh, there's an Argent over here. Let's see what it is. Nope, you suck too. Okay, let me get back to hunting. Um, I actually killed everything at the mosh pit. Um, this is just to get it out of render range, and then I kind of get bored, so I like to go on little, like, trips around and see if there's new, uh, Argent spawns and stuff. And if I don't like the spawn that's in, like, possibly this guy, let's see. Like you, level 10. You're gonna die. Basically, just kill him, and then once I make the loop back around, maybe there'll be another Argent, uh to fight or i could just keep uh killing trees basically so uh yeah i'm gonna do this for a bit and then i will uh hopefully come up with one soon um but we'll see i'm also looking for other stuff though too because the great thing about the origin is um if we find something high level like a high level saber a high level um wolf like a dire wolf a daydon something like that i could pick it on up i could pick up a lot um, I can't pick up, like, Uteranus and Parnos, but, yeah, we can pick up some decent stuff. Um, so that, that's a thing. That, that's definitely a thing. Uh, 25. Nope, you suck. Uh, where was this one? Ah, there you go. What did that say? I don't think that said anything good, but I'm gonna check it one more time. I think it said 55, but let's see. 55. Hey! Okay. Nope, you suck. Anyways, what about you? 20. Nope. 3 for 3. Okay. Uh, let me keep looking around. I'll see what I can find. Ooh, red drop. Alright, we're just going straight for the red drop at this point. Plus, it's bringing us closer to back to the mosh pit and everything, so uh, yeah, that's a thing. I think what I'm actually going to do, too, is um, off-camera, I probably will build another like Argent trap and stuff, and another just normal trap um, up at the um, Carno Island. I think that might be a good place to go, too. Um, and we're going to slowly descend, and I think we're okay as long as that Uteranus isn't too that's a Sarko. Alright, I think we'll be okay. I think we're okay. We're gonna get hit with a few things here, but... Oh god, Daydons. Oof. Can't stand these guys. They have so much health on them. Oh my gosh. Alright, yeah, I should be able to get out of this. It's just gonna be a while. Um, yep, Argent's dead already. Okay. Alright, let's just get my health back, and then I'm just gonna keep going at this point. Uh, come on, health. Alright, forget it. I could take flight for literally a minute. Alright, let me regain my stam over here, and then we'll check out that uh, red drop. Alright, here we go. So we have another red drop right here, and let's see. Oh god, what is right next to me? Oh god! Oh, that was stupid, that was stupid, that was stupid. Passive. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Argent, Argent. Oh my god, okay. We're good, I don't care. I don't care if we have to... Oh, that was stupid on my part. <laughs> Okay, so, if you guys didn't really kind of comprehend what the hell just happened, um, yeah, a Uteranus was basically just stuck in the, or right behind the, uh, red drop that we went for. Oh my god, and there's another one right there. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what we got. Let's, let's, oh, I could have died. That would have been so bad. Um, what did I even get? I went there for an air con, oh no. Apprentice Therizino Saddle. Okay, not bad. Um, not great, but not bad either. Okay, what about this? This was... Eh. eh. It's okay. Again, not great, but... 
Whew, okay. What about this red drop? I'm gonna have to be a little wary on these red drops and stuff. Maybe, I don't know, maybe look around and see if there's any, I don't know, Uteranuses, like, right stuck in them, but... Ah, you live and learn. Okay, at least we didn't die. That's that's the biggest thing. What level was that Uteranus anyways that was attacking us? Because eventually we'll be in the market for some. Um, I don't know, because Uteranuses are definitely the best to bring into uh, boss fights. Uh, I think everyone knows that. I don't think I really need to explain the concept of the Uteranus. Um, all right, I'm going to wait on this red drop. Um, hopefully it doesn't have a U Are you kidding me? There's a Uteranus right there. All right, so we may not be going for this red drop. I need to see uh, how we're looking once uh, this thing lands. Ah, oh, that's going to be annoying. At least it's not a red with a uh, with a ring around it. That would just be... I think I would sacrifice it for a red with a ring. Um, I don't know. Can, can we get up on here? No? No? Maybe? It's there. They're there. What level is that, you Stay from here? No, I cannot. Okay, good. Alright. I think we're okay. I think we'll be fine. Oof. Maybe not. Uh, no, we're not going to be okay. We're really not going to be okay. All right, guys, so I've been out here for a while. Uh, yeah, I haven't really gotten anything, haven't gotten anything that I like. So um, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoy this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. Hopefully off camera, I do find another Arjun or two. Um, and then possibly I might get into breeding. Unless you guys want to see that on camera. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. To be honest, because breeding and stuff takes time, I usually do it off camera. It's just a little bit easier. But if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. But um, yeah, we got an Arjun, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm going to look for a couple more, uh, maybe get into breeding. But then we got to start getting into some other dinos, like the utility dinos. We need a really good land Carno mount, like a carnivore, not an actual Carno. Um, like a Saber, a Thyla, something like that, that can really just... We can get across the land quickly, and it can pack a punch too. Maybe even a Dire Wolf. I don't know. I'm going to look around and see what I can find. So guys, again, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. Um, if you do like the content that I'm putting out, definitely subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And guys, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.